six years. Three and a half years. 11 years. Two years. 16 years. What does a Salesforce admin not do? A Salesforce admin wears lots of hats. We are business analysts. We help train, we help guide, we consult. Listening to what users want and need. We build custom applications to run our organizations. Someone who has literally the keys to the kingdom. We are at the heart of Salesforce in our organizations. Creative. 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 Extraordinary. Passionate. Diligent. Determined. Helpful. Dedicated. Dedicated. Innovative. Innovative. Change maker. Caring. Thoughtful. Empathetic. Patient. Dependable. Curious. Inquisitive. Smart. Clever. Problem solver. Problem solver. Productive. Learner. Fun. Fierce. Trailblazer. I love empowering people with technology. Every day, I get to come into work and make things better. Helping my organization and my users. The ability to help people succeed. Being someone that is there for my organization. Knowing that I can have this tool and I can spread it across the world. I continue to grow and learn every day. You get to problem solve, think outside the box, reinvent the box. I am 70 years old and I didn't even learn Salesforce until I was 68. Salesforce gave me a new lease on life. There's nothing you can't do as an admin in Salesforce. Awesome admin. Hello, awesome admins. My name is Michael Claudner and I've been a Salesforce admin for seven years. I'm here with my fellow awesome admins, Gabriella Pedroni and Laura Walker. As Steve Mullis said in the video you just saw, there's nothing you can't do as a Salesforce admin. Throughout this keynote, please join the conversation on Twitter by using the hashtag awesomeadmin. Hi, my name is Gabriella Pedroni, and I think um, Salesforce admins are incredible, powerful, and determined. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you that um, Salesforce is a publicly traded company, so please... <laughs> so please don't make your purchasing decisions. I mean, please make your purchasing decisions <laughs> based on currently available products and services. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura Walker, and what's fabulous about being an admin is that you get to do something new every single day. It is now my absolute pleasure to introduce to you the host for today's admin keynote, co-founder and CTO of Salesforce, Parker Harris. All right. So excited to be here. You know, this has uh, been a long week, <laughs> but it's been an amazing week, and I want to thank all of you for still being here, for being awesome admins, and joining us in what I think is the best keynote of the entire show. So thank you. You know, it's been uh, incredible, and I think I saw some of you in uh, the True to the Chorus session. Any of you join me for that? few of you. Uh, anybody see Obama today? That was good. Well, I just want to thank, you know, the Salesforce MVPs. Where are you? Over here? Oh, I'm walking the wrong way. All right. Awesome. Uh, any gr community group leaders in the audience? How about military, vet force? All right, how about Sheldon's story in Maravis? That was pretty incredible in the key main keynote. I had the pleasure of getting to know uh, Sheldon uh, and Hector through that whole process, and just incredible. Any nonprofits in the room? Anyone in here gonna help these nonprofits? Yeah, yeah, and any students? Do we have any students? Uh, 
too long. Well, we, there, you know, if you were lucky enough to be in Mark Benioff's children's class, you would have been front row at Obama today. Um, but, uh, but my children came with me instead. But anyway, thank all of you for all that you do because we couldn't do it without you. You know, this whole community, all of Salesforce is really better because of all of you. And you are the heart of Salesforce, each and every one of you. You're creating customized solutions. You're solving these hard business problems that our customers have. And you're not afraid to solve them. You're also not afraid to phone a friend when you need help, to get help, to make sure you can solve and deliver that business value, and also pave a path for others, help others join the community, help others learn. So thank you. And together, over 20 years, how many of you have been with us for over 10 years? Anyone in the audience? Wow. Look at that. That's incredible. It's a long time, over a decade. Well, I've been doing this for almost two decades or more than two decades. This is our, my 21st year at Salesforce. And the innovation has been incredible. We, you know, we built the platform. We had App Exchange. We had Apex and Visual Force because, yes, not everything can be, can be declarative, although I wish it were. We gave you the power to code. We gave you the power of going mobile. We gave you the power of social. Uh, we added some cool new acquisitions for Maps. Anyone checked out our Map Anything acquisition? It's pretty cool, right? Add that into your solutions. And blockchain, has anyone played with blockchain? Blockchain's pretty cool. We're trying to make blockchain easy. We launched that at TDX this year. And we're trying to take the power of blockchain and like what we always do, make the simple things simple, but the hard things possible. And blockchain, we're making darn simple with the power of Salesforce blockchain. 20 years of innovating together and all this innovation. People like Cheryl Feldman, uh, I believe she's at, she was at a wedding, is that right? She couldn't be here. She's dying to be here and she's playing watching right now. So Cheryl, hello, if you're out there, if you're out there. Uh, but also uh, we have here a trailblazer for 17 years, Lena Hoffer, Lena's here, right there. So Lena, thank you for being here. Over three million of you in our community and together we've delivered over 3,000 features in the idea exchange. And yet for some reason, at true to the core, you said that's not enough. You said, hey Parker, I want more. And that's why we created the idea exchange new coin exchange. So you're gonna have to pay for those ideas from now on. You're gonna have to actually think hard like all of our product managers uh, and we'll try to do as much as we can for you. But we continue to give you innovation so in the latest release, any, any flown addicts in the room? Yeah? All right, anyone like the, the before triggers and flows or building tros, flows? <laughs> Say that fast. Build flows twice as fast, but flows is getting better, analytics is getting better, user experience is getting better. And what about AI? Anybody like that new Einstein speaker? The power of voice? And you too can put voice in your applications? You can build your own voice skills so that you can actually have the interaction be in the language of your customer, in the language of your industry. You know, if you're a nonprofit, it could be a, you know, a nonprofit conversation that you're having with Einstein. If you're in high tech, it could be a high tech conversation. That's the power of voice. 300 plus, and this is trademarked apparently, mower features. Not more, mower. 300 more features. And all these features going in to the Salesforce Customers 360 platform, the sales, service, marketing, you know the shtick. We keep adding more. My job is to keep making it easier and more integrated, so continue to do that. And we're doing it together, and I hope you continue to give me feedback. And I hope you continue to do these amazing things around the world, things like Salesforce Saturdays. Anyone participate in a Salesforce Saturday? It's incredible. And I love it when you take over our competitors' storefronts and actually use them for space to, uh, to have a Salesforce Saturday. One of those was actually held at a Microsoft store, which I thought was kind of funny. Over 1,300 community groups, over 30 community conferences. That's a lot. And we need more of this. And when you need to create these things, when you participate in them, make sure you're asking us for help. Make sure you're asking us to help you make these things successful because this is what makes the community even bigger, makes it thrive. So we're gonna have three stories today. Three stories. We always do things in three, it's like Monty Python. There's three stories today. 
First story is around championing productivity. The second story is around delivering innovation. It's not just about productivity, it's also about innovation. The third story is about driving success. Three stories, that's the number. That's the number. The first story, <laughs> championing productivity, is going to be probably one of the best stories. And to bring that story to life, I'd like to bring up one of our incredible employees and used to be in the community. I guess you're still in the community. The, the incredible Mike Gerhold, Senior Director of Admin Evangelism. Welcome, Mike. Parker. Thanks. Thank you again, Parker, in case they didn't hear that. As an admin for eight years, whew, did I love to give my users new productive features. In fact, I'll let you in on a secret. I had two favorite words. Watch this. Because when I said that, my users knew they were seeing something amazing. Now let me introduce you to someone who is amazing. Zarina Varley-Scott. That's right. By the way, if you like something, you got to make some noise. Zarina is a trailblazer transforming her company, her career, and her community. She champions productivity at Imperial Capital, where she's the Salesforce admin who is streamlining reporting. She's creating AI-driven business processes, building mobile-first custom apps, and because she's helping Imperial Capital embrace those UN sustainable goals, she is helping with imp implementing paperless initiatives through responsible consumption and production. Now, Zarina started using Salesforce in 2017. And I gotta pause for a second, because if you see up there, she's already a Trailhead Ranger with 160 badges. <laughs> I love that Zarina believes anyone can have a successful career in technology with dedication and passion. Thank you, Zarina. Now, Zarina is also active in her community. Look at that. She's a Toronto Women in Tech community group leader. She's a True North event dreaming organizer and a lightning champion helping to empower everyone to succeed. This might be the best slide I've ever given because Zarina is so amazing. I want to tell you, though, Imperial Capital is a private equity firm based in Toronto, Canada, and they have a vision to create value by building better businesses, and they do that with the Customer 360 platform. Now, we have been incredibly busy helping bring more innovation, more productive features to help you and your users get the job done fast. Like the Salesforce mobile app, Einstein Search, Salesforce blockchain, and Salesforce object creator. This is the admin keynote. Nobody comes for slides. I can't wait to show you our vision for Imperial Capital. So let's go to the demo, and I wanna give a shout out to my demo driver, Andy, who helped bring this vision to life. So let's start. We're logged in the home page, but we're logged in as Deshaun Jacobs, and he's one of their top investor relations users. And you can see the Zarina made this page productive from top to bottom. So we look, we have right at the top, my top investors. And this chart uses row level formulas and emojis, which I'm a big fan of, because now Deshaun can consume that information super fast. In addition, Zarina added a component, so we've got investor relations news and reference guides. Why? Deshaun needs to be productive, needs to see that information. And she's reinforcing that UN Sustainable Development Goal of responsible consumption and production right on the home page. Okay, Deshaun's got to start his day, and he's got a big meeting. So, we're going to help him out. He's going to get started right at the top. Watch this. He's got to meet with Appy's advisors, so he searches for it. Now, the cool thing with Einstein Search is when then Sean searches for Appy's advisors, Einstein Search returns relevant search results based on his profile and role, but it doesn't stop there. He can take action on those results right in the search. 
So you can see he could follow this file, he could download it, take additional actions. He can see additional records, the Appy's Advisors account, and he can see that Appy's Advisors investor record. Sandy, let's dive into that record because we want to see where our relationship is with Appy's Advisors. This is a Lightning record page. Serena customized it with Lightning App Builder, and she added path. That way, everybody in the organization knows where we are on our journey to building that relationship with Appy's Advisors. In addition, she turned on in-app guidance, and she customized it so that her users get the relevant need, the relevant information they need to be productive. Now, in this case, you can see we're moving right along with Appy's Advisors, except we need that accredited information before they become an active investor. Now, normally, the demo would include Deshaun going back and forth to the fax machine to get that accredited information. But that's not very sustainable. That wastes reams of paper and loads of time. This is a regulated industry. We can't just pick up the phone and get accredited information. We have to make sure that that information is accurate and that it's verified. No worries. Zarina to the rescue. Zarina can use Salesforce blockchain to pull that accredited information and put it right up on the screen. So as you can see, Andy's got Blockchain Builder up on the screen. And we get started, same way we get started building an app, with our details. So we're going to name our blockchain. And from there, we're going to add our partners. So we start off, we know we need ourself. And we're going to add that accreditation service, because we want that accreditation service to be able to publish data to our blockchain. Next, we're going to add our data. So we have our investor accreditation information. And as Andy clicks into it, we have our fields and relationships. Now, as a Salesforce admin, this looks just like a custom object. It's not scary. So we've got all of our information set up. Andy, let's go back to that Appy's advisor. Now, the cool thing is Deshaun just got a phone call, and Appy's advisors is ready to move forward. So let's use Path to update our information and show that they're an active investor. And right there on the record page is the investor accreditation information right from blockchain. OK, I would have clapped, but <laughs> that's fine. You're going to be a tough audience, and you're going to make me work this demo. So here we go, folks. Buckle in. Because now Deshaun's got an accredited investor and he's going to meet with them, but he's going to invite them to the holiday party. And the Imperial Capital accredited holiday party, I mean, it's like Dreamforce. Everybody wants to come. The only problem is, hmm, Andy, yep, there's that spreadsheet. Our investor events team, they're, they're not big fans of using Salesforce yet. So they sent us this spreadsheet, and they said, can you make it an app? Serena said, no problem, with a few clicks. I can use Salesforce Object Creator, take your spreadsheet, turn it into an app. Now, before Andy goes into Salesforce Object Creator, I added a data row right to the top because sample data is important to me. OK, so we're in Object Creator. Easy peasy. A few clicks, right? We're going to choose where's that data coming from? Google Sheet, Excel. We choose Google Sheet because that's where it's at. Now we're going to choose the, the data source, Investor Events. When we click Next, Salesforce Object Creator is taking all that information in, and it's turning the columns into fields, and it's letting us pick our field type. So in this case, we're going to choose Pick List for event type. And the cool thing I love is we get that field preview. So off to the right, remember we added that test row? We can see all of the data that's going to go in. So Andy, let's go ahead and chug on forward because they're asking for claps. So here we go. This is going to be our object properties. We're going to call it investor events. All of the boxes are checked. Why? Because I want to be able to report on this. So when we click Finish, Object Creator is going to take that spreadsheet in. It's going to take all of those columns, turn them into fields. And the cool thing is it's going to take all of that data, and it's going to import it right into Salesforce for us. Boom. <laughs> Thank you for the clap.
<laughs> but here's the watch this. Andy, let's go back into our Salesforce org, use App Launcher, and pull up our new custom object with all of those records in it. And right here is our list view with that spreadsheet data. We did it all in real time, so we're booking it like two minutes, and we've got ourselves a new app. Andy, <laughs> Zarina's right over there. I don't want to turn this app over to her with that sample data, so let's go ahead and delete that sample data row. Yeah, no problem, Mike. Sweet. Okay, cool. There we go. So as you can see, yeah. ooh. Oh. So I'm sorry, we got to pause for a second. What's wrong, Mike? So Andy, that was the wrong row. That was... Oh, I'm the, so the, sorry. The sample row. Oh, right, right. Hey, you know what? I never get to announce new features from the demo desk. Now, in Lightning Experience, you can access the recycle bin. <laughs> We're just going to click on over to the recycle bin, find our record, and restore. Whew. Now, Andy, can we go and delete that sample data? Sure. Okay. So we totally just resaved all the investor accredited holiday party <laughs> Dreamforce for them. So you asked for it, you want to stay in Lightning, we give you Recycle Bin in Lightning so users can stay there and continue to be productive, just like you saw Andy do. So in a few clicks, we took that spreadsheet, now we have ourselves an app, but we don't stop there, we're admins. We've got to make sure the right users have the right access to that app. And we do that, so let's jump over to setup. We do that with permission sets. Now, as a level set, we all know that all of our users have one profile. Permission sets, well, they're like keys. They unlock additional functionality. But man, Zarina's got a lot of users, and they do a lot of job functions. Now, with permission set groups, Zarina can take those permission sets and add them to a permission set group. Think of it like adding keys to a key ring. So Andy, let's go ahead and take our investor events permission set and add it to the permission set group that Deshaun already has access to. That means all of the users of that permission set will immediately get access to this brand new app that we created. Now the really cool part of permission set groups, watch this, is we can also mute permissions. Think of it like making sure, that's right. Think of it like making sure that key on the permission set can only unlock certain doors. So if you have multiple users and you manage multiple apps, which we all do, now you have the flexibility to make your users productive and manage those permissions on a granular basis. So we've created an app, we've made sure our users have access to that app, and it looks like Deshaun's on his way out the door to go meet with Happy's advisors. So let's make sure that he has access to Salesforce Mobile so that he can prep on the go. With the new Salesforce app built on Lightning, Deshaun can see everything that he saw on the desktop. He has his favorites, he has his tabs, he has his apps. This means going from the desktop to the mobile phone doesn't turn your world upside down. Now, watch this. Deshaun can see Appy's Advisor's investor record, he can go in, he can see that accredited information that we just pulled in in blockchain. Most importantly, he can go in and see that accredited holiday party, which means when he walks in to Appy's advisors, he's going to have a successful meeting, and he gets to invite them to the accredited holiday party. Parker, that's how Zarina champions productivity at Imperial Capital. Back to you. All right. Let's hear it for Mike. Great job, all right. Zarina's not just in every single column in this room, she's also right here uh, with me. And uh, you're championing productivity, it's amazing. That demo is chock full of awesome stuff, but what was most awesome to you in that demo? Thanks so much for having me. I've got to say blockchain, and I'm sure that'll make you Blockchain, happy. nice. Yeah. 
So obviously, as a in a very heavy regula heavily regulated industry, yeah. um, blockchain is a total game changer for us. Yeah. Um, so I've been at my company for eight years, uh, starting as an admin assistant, and over the years have really seen the evolution of our business process. You went from an admin assistant to an awesome admin. <laughs> yeah, I did. How about that? That's pretty cool. Thank you. And, and just seeing um, the, the, the change between you know, hard copy and going backwards and forwards between the facts, yep. um, to be able to use blockchain to do that will really change everything for us. Awesome. Okay. Do you mind if I do a selfie with you? Because oh. this is what okay, we're doing sure. today. We are, we're doing um, hashtag selfies. One second. Do I know how to do a selfie? <laughs> hang on. Hang on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. What happened to it? All right. I'm, I, got, I got it. I'm getting all these text messages at the same time, and I, it's, not, it's not what I wanted. I got to tell my... Uh, okay, here we go. Ready? We're going to do... I'm sending them... See? <laughs> Zarina, am I getting text oh, messages? so many, so many. Yeah. <laughs> See, there's another one. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Zarina. Thank you. That was incredible. All right. Okay. That was the first story, Mike, great job, but we're not done, okay? Because now we're moving on from the story about championing productivity to delivering inno innovation. And to give you that story, I want to invite Leanne Rimmel uh, to the stage. Leanne, welcome. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Hey, welcome. I'm so excited to be here. This is my favorite event of Dreamforce, my favorite event every year. And in large part because I love this community so much. I have been in the Salesforce ecosystem for almost 14 years now. Thank you. And one of the reasons that I love this ecosystem, that I love this community, that I love this company, is how we embrace our values. We live our values and we make difference in the world. Right? We're all out here, we're trying to make a difference. So when I have the honor of getting to work with companies and customers that are out there making a difference at their world, in their organization, in their community, it's incredibly rewarding and it makes my heart swell, to be honest. So I've loved learning more about Costa Sunglasses, I've loved learning more about Steve and the impact he's having on this community, and I'm so excited to share that with you all today. Did you know that 50% of the plastic in our oceans is from fishing nets. That's a huge amount of plastic. That's a huge amount of pollution. We know that cleaning up our oceans is important. We know that taking care of our environment is important. And Costa Sunglasses is taking steps to do that in their community and taking steps to do that with their product. Because they're working with fishing organizations to take fishing nets and upcycle them into very stylish, and highly functional sunglasses like these. So it's a very cool organization, it's a very cool company, the impact they're having is very real, and Steve is making a very big difference there at Costa. He's helping them build scalable B2B, B2C experiences for their customers. Steve's a flow natic over here, he's building awesome flows to help them be productive and automate their systems building AI into what they're doing. I know, we got, I know we got some flow natics in the room. I promise we're gonna get into flow in this demo. And Steve's also making a really big difference in his career and his community. I'm so impressed. So the slide says 550 badges, but actually Steve just told me he's earned 553 badges and is five times certified. That's amazing. And he's making a real difference in his community as well. He's making a real difference by being a community organizer, by helping organize those great community events like Florida Dreaming, by being a lightning champion, by being a Daytona Beach community group leader. So thank you so much for everything you're doing, Steve, for your community and for your organization. And we've gotten to learn more about how you're helping deliver that for Costa, the tools you're using. Because Costa is delivering this difference, delivering this change with the Customer 360 platform with tools like automation, tools like AI, by building intelligence into everything that they do. And Steve is helping them do that by using tools like Flow Builder, Notification Builder, so everyone has the information they need on their device, wherever they are, Voice Assistant, which I promise we're gonna take a look at, 
And the 360 data manager makes sure that all of their information is in one place for Coast users. No one wants to access a bunch of different systems, and we make it easy with the 360 data manager. So, without any more slides, let's go ahead and dive in and learn more about Costa with our demo. Andy, let's go take a look. So let's imagine, <laughs> Andy, can you tell that we love Costa, right? Like we're so like into Costa, we've got all of our Costa brand on now. So let's take a look at the demo. So when we start, we are in our mobile experience. And I think it's yes. going to take just a second. But we're going to start in the mobile experience of a Costa user, a Costa sales user that is on the road visiting retail customers. So many of us have sales users out there, users that are on their mobile devices using the new Salesforce mobile app. And that user is Alba, and she gets a notification that there is a new customer interested in the Untangled collection. That's that upcycled collection I mentioned. She clicks into that notification, and this is that leads page that probably a lot of you are kind of familiar with, right? We've got those key lead details. Gunnar Barksley is our new lead. We've got some key details like email, account that they're with, location. But we want to do more, and Steve is using innovative new tools to help his users do more on mobile with MapIt. So on the top left, we can click into our new action called MapIt. And when Alba, as a user, opens MapIt, she can see that location of that new lead, Gunnar Barksley, plotted on a map. But this isn't just any map. We're not in another application. We didn't leave the Salesforce mobile app. We're still in the Salesforce mobile app because we're using Salesforce Maps. And we want to do more than just go to that one location, right? We want to be efficient with our time, productive with our day. So Alba's going to look at what are the other accounts that are nearby that have purchased this kind of product. We know it's popular. We know there's an appetite for sustainable product. So she needs to check in with all of her other accounts and see, do they have enough in stock? Do they have what they need? And she sees Einstein Brothers Frames is right nearby to Gunnar Barksley. And with Salesforce Maps, she can actually add this to her day. She can add Einstein Brothers to her day alongside her already planned visit to Gunnar Barksley and plan her entire schedule, the most efficient route to bike between the two locations, to go visit our customers. So let's imagine we visited our new lead and we're ready to check in with that existing customer, Einstein. We check in, we see our key account details, we're on our account page on the mobile device. And this account page is powered by 360. This account page has all of the information from every time Costa has worked with this customer, whether it's through Commerce Cloud, whether it's through Marketing Cloud, whether it's through Service, and it's all consolidated here into that one single view of the customer. So now Alba can see what are the products they purchased previously. And there's definitely an appetite in San Francisco for sustainable goods, for sustainable, responsible consumption. And so they've sold out of the Untangled collection. They've got no more in stock. So Alba needs to place a reorder. Well, Steve has made it really easy for Alba to place a reorder with a new button at the top called Place Reorder. So let's go ahead and click in and take a look. When we go into Place Our Reorder, we're taken to a new screen. And this isn't a specialty code screen. This isn't something that we downloaded. This isn't something that we had to like, go and hire out a bunch of code for. This is Flow. This is a Flow screen that is powered entirely by Flow that Steve built for his users. We've got our rich text component at the top. We've got our lightning progress bar. We're using lightning data table to surface all of the products they've purchased previously. This makes it easier and faster instead of having to look through all the available SKUs. We can see, here's what you bought before. You liked this. Let's reorder it for you. And as we go through our order process and click Next, we can see we're progressing along the progress bar. And when we get to our last screen, we have the handy Lightning slider, which is core to Flow Builder. It's one of those tools you can add just in the Flow Builder screen, one of those screen components. And this entire experience is powered by Flow. This entire experience is powered predominantly by clicks. And it's something that Steve was able to roll out to all of his users really quickly and really easily. And it helps them be more productive on the road. OK, so let's finish our reorder. Awesome, we feel good. The reorder is in. We saw that great experience that Alba had on the mobile, but 
This is the admin keynote. Let's go ahead and show setup. Let's jump into the experience that Steve, as an admin, has when he's in Salesforce on his desktop and he's building these experiences. Oops, actually, I almost skipped. Sorry, Andy, I almost skipped your whole part. <laughs> That's Sorry, right. let's go back to the mobile. <laughs> I got to show you, this is a really cool part of the mobile experience. So we've seen our lo new location, our new lead on the map. We've seen that 360 experience, but now Alba wants to add her notes. She's got to add her notes for the day, and we want to make that fast and easy for her. So we're going to do that with Einstein Assistant. On the bottom left, we can click on Assistant. And Andy, are we ready to add our notes for the day? We are ready. Just click into follow-up memo, and we can add some notes here. We just had a great meeting with Einstein Brothers Frames, period. Einstein Brothers Frames is interested in our quarter four promotion, period. Now, we can add a task. Let's meet with marketing next week. Awesome. So what this is doing, Steve enabled Einstein Assistant, and he built skills so his users on the road could add their notes, and Einstein would use natural language to find those records that users like Alba use most often and add notes to them, add follow-up tasks, and make it fast and easy and an innovative new way for them to add their notes when they're on the road. So Steve's really using all of these tools on the 360 platform to help his users be efficient and productive about their day, because he's using innovative new solutions here. OK, so now that we've added our notes, now let's go <laughs> to setup and take a look at how Steve is building these solutions. So we're in the account view. We're looking at that same account that we saw on mobile. And this is that account that's powered by the Salesforce Customer 360. We're using data from our commerce cloud engagements with this customer. We're using data from our service cloud engagements. So no matter what kind of Costa user is engaging with this account, they can see that data in one place. And that's how they're going to provide that single source of truth and that canonical view. But how does Steve build this? Like, we hear about 360, but as admins, how do we build this? How do we manage this? Where does the data actually come from? Let's take a look at the 360 Data Manager backend, which is, I know, what this audience wants to see. Let's take a look at the 360 Data Manager backend. This is your experience as admins that you're going to have when you're rolling this out for your orgs. We have our setup page. We have our steps that we have created to help you be successful. Our prepare and plan, everything that you should do from doing the Trailhead module to learning more about this tool, about these resources, how you set up users, of course, who should have access to what of incredible importance, right? And connecting data sources, because that is a core part of the 360 Data Manager, that we are connecting multiple data sources and creating that single canonical view of the customer. So we've added our data sources for Costa Commerce. We've connected to our sales cloud. And once Steve has done that, we can dive into data mapping and actually control that flow of information. So in data mapping, we can see how information is flowing from our Commerce Cloud instance into our Salesforce instance and what that logic looks like. And it all flows to that single source of truth in our cloud information model. And so as admins, we're controlling the data in our org, right? We're controlling who has access to what data. We're controlling where that data comes from. But we're also responsible for the experience. We need to build a really comprehensive and smart UI for our customers, our users. And we're going to do that with page layout. So let's dive into how we're managing one of our lightning record pages here. This is our lightning record page for projects. This is how we're managing our Unt Untangled campaign. We're using a custom object. As you can see, it's been customized. We've added a path. We've added some rich text. We've added some different sections to our page. But we want to do more with this. We want to use some new tools to control where does the information live on this page? Because as admins, that's something that we're responsible for, right? Like We want to make sure we're controlling that real estate on the page. So we're going to dive into the App Builder. Now, in App Builder, we've got our canvas, we've got our properties, and on the left, we have our components. However, we have a new section on the left for fields. <laughs> because now, with dynamic forms, you can control where fields live on your Lightning pages. 
So let's go ahead and look at our fields. We've got our fields available here. We're going to bring over our field section. This is where the fields live when we choose where to put them. We can put them anywhere that we can put a component. We can put it in the skinny part. We can put it in the wide part. We're going to put this in the skinny part. We're going to make this a field section that's about budget information so we can consolidate that. We're going to add our budget and our expenses. But dynamic forms isn't just about controlling where fields live on the page. We also want to be thoughtful about who sees what and when. So we're going to use those same page filters that you know and love for components for fields. <laughs> I'm so excited you're excited. <laughs> so now we set our field visibility to equaling in progress. Because we only need to see this information when it is in progress, great. We're going to name this section so it makes sense to our users. And now when we save it and go back to our page, we can engage with this when we change this record with path and see that new, see, now we've got our new field section, awesome. And when we change this to in progress, we're going to have our new section right on the page. OK. So I've got one more thing to show you. This is how we're creating these customized page experiences. We're also using automation. I told you Steve's our flow natic here. We're also using automation everywhere. So let's jump into flow and look at this flow that we've started creating. We want to take all of our untangled leads, and we want to serve them up to users like Alba on a regular basis. But we don't want to pepper her with notifications all the time. We want her to get these notifications, these leads, on a regularly scheduled basis. So we're going to use a brand new feature in Flow for scheduled flows. So that means users like Alba, every time they log in on a Monday, they're going to see their beautiful dashboard of leads that have been assigned to them on that regular scheduled basis. Parker, that's how Steve is delivering innovation at Costa. Thank you. Awesome. All right. I ran out of time. I'm ready for Steve now. Steve, we have Steve right here. OK, Steve, Leanne, let's give a hand for Leanne. Great job, Leanne. So um, you know, Leanne did a lot of speaking for you, uh, but I like to hear directly from my awesome admins. So in that demo, what blew you away, and what are you so excited about? For me personally, it's the Lightning Flow Builder um, because a lot of people that are in the Trailblazer community um, know that with the old Flow Builder, I knew nothing about it and it was really intimidating for me. Yeah. With the new Lightning Flow Builder, it, I understood it and I can do amazing things with it now and I get real excited about taking manual processes and be able to automate those in the flow. Who else is excited about that feature? That's awesome. Uh, now, Steve. Can I steal these extra sunglasses here that you have? I, I just happen to have a pair for you. Do you have a pair? I do. And these are nice made from, uh, from plastic fishnets? Yes. How do I look? You look great. You want to take a selfie? All right. Here, here comes a selfie. Oh, you got some too. Nice. All right. Steve, great job. Thank you so much. All right. Unfortunately, they're not prescriptions, so I have to switch back to my, uh, look at this. I'm going to tweet live here. I've got it all going on. I'm tweeting. I'm clicking. I've got it all going on. OK, you heard about champion productivity. Awesome. You heard about deliver innovation. Now we're going to give you the last story on driving success. And to bring that to life, let's welcome Josie Childs, Vice President of Admin Relations. Welcome, Josie. Take it away. Hey, Karen. Awesome admin. Wow, <laughs> this is awesome. I've had the opportunity to work with admins my entire career at Salesforce, first for five years on AppExchange and over the past year leading admin relations. And I've been able to travel around the world from Japan, India, Australia, across the US, Canada, Europe, and meet so many of you in this room. And I've gotten to hear how you're transforming your companies, your careers, and your communities. But the thing that's really stuck with me through all of those conversations, the thing that makes me really excited to go to work every day, is that I know that now is absolutely the right time to be a Salesforce admin. Yes. <laughs> and Karen Sean Hines, she knows this through and through. Karen is the executive director of PyTap, 
a Boston-based organization that's fighting poverty and working to end homelessness by helping mothers and their teenage children learn in-demand Salesforce skills. Karen is an amazing trailblazer. She's an expeditioner. She's on her road to Ranger. Halfway there, Karen. And she has both a law degree and a business degree. Karen has worked her entire career with students, first as a lawyer and then for two decades as a Boston public school teacher. And when Karen was thinking about how she could do even more, how she could do more to give back to her community and help with that UN Sustainable Development Goal of decent work and economic growth, well, she turned to the Boston Salesforce community because she knows how powerful it is to be a Salesforce admin. And when she's thinking about the skills that her students need to be successful, well, she's thinking about all the skills that all of you in this room have. Because every single day, you're bringing together your business skills with your technical skills, your Salesforce skills, your leadership skills, and your really deep industry expertise. And this is giving you a completely unique resume that is helping you not only drive success in your careers, but also at your companies. Because you are doing amazing things at your companies every single day. In fact, every day on the Salesforce platform, there are over 10 billion flows process. That's right, 10 billion flows. Talk about champion productivity. And when you're building those beautiful reports and dashboards and you're helping users really make sense of what's in their Salesforce org to make those data-driven decisions, well, those reports and dashboards that you're building, they're run 60 million times every single day. And we heard about how Steve's delivering innovation with the new mobile app and how Zarina's champion productivity. Well, thanks to all of you in this room, there are over 700,000 daily active users on the Salesforce mobile app. And when you're bringing together your Salesforce skills with your business skills, and you're creating those custom objects, well, you're having huge impact on your organizations. So I love this slide. I want you to take a picture of this slide. I want you to take this slide back to your CIOs and your CTOs and show them all of the amazing work that you're doing. But what's more, I want you to be able to show what's happening in your specific org. And we have the tools to help you do that. So with the Lightning Usage app, you can see how your users are adopting Salesforce. You can see your mobile usage. And with the new Salesforce Optimizer, you're going to get those personalized recommendations and trends right in your Salesforce org. So I want to go ahead and ask Andy. We're going to dive into a demo so we can see all of this live. So when we start the demo, we're here in our app launcher, and we're going to click right into our Lightning Usage app. So here we are in our Lightning Usage app, and we can see all of our key metrics about our users, and we can also see information by profile. And this is really powerful, because now you can say, OK, my service users are doing great, but my marketing users, I think I need to go talk to that marketing lead and talk about how we're going to continue to work on adoption. So this is really going to help you focus your energies and know how to help your Salesforce users. We can also look at pages. So we can see how our pages are performing. And if we see if one of our pages isn't performing as quickly as it should be, we can continue to customize that page. And this is going to give your users back time and your organization back money. This is how you're delivering success. And you can also see your most viewed pages. So you can see how all of those customizations that you've been building, well, are your users using those pages? And are there places where you need to start to focus to try and increase adoption? And we can see our mobile usage. So we heard about those 700,000 daily active users. Well, how many of those users are in your org? Well, you can go right here, and you can see your monthly active users and your daily active users. But when you want to get those really deep insights and you really want to understand what's happening in your org, that's where Salesforce Optimizer comes in. And really pay attention to this, because this is stuff that you can do right now. You can go back to your desk on Monday. You can look at all of those adoption reports. And you can run the Salesforce Optimizer. You can get that rich PDF that's really going to help you understand what's happening in your org and get those personalized recommendations. But this is the Salesforce Admin Keynote. This is my first time on stage in the Salesforce Admin Keynote. And I want to show you something new. Do you want to see something new? Coming with Spring 20, you are going to be able to run that optimizer report right within your org. And what's so cool about this is all of that rich information that we had on that PDF, that's going to be right here in a list view. 
So you can see your feature, you can sort by status, you can see the level of effort it's going to take, so you know how much, where you want to focus, you can see the category, and you can also see the feature type. And you can filter. So Andy, let's filter. I want to look at my components on a record page, because I don't think anything champions productivity or delivers innovation more than giving my users the information they need right at their fingertips. So now I can see my recommendations, my impact, and all of the places that I have those components. So I really understand what's happening in my org. But what about when you want to have that all-important career conversation? What about when you really want to use data to show what you've been doing every single day? When we go back to this list, we can see the last time this report was run, and we can run it again. And this is critical, because that's going to give you your trending data over time, so you can really understand how the changes that you're making are impacting your org. So you can have that data-driven conversation to show how your champion productivity, delivering innovation, and driving success for your organization every single day. Back to you, Parker. Oh, all right. OK. Well, that was awesome. Give a big hand to Josie. First time on the main stage here. First time admin keynote. All right, Karen, I'm going to make you come up here. We're going to do it up here today. Uh, and I just want to thank you uh, for all that you have done for an incredible organization in PyTap. So um, I've got two questions for you. Ready? Yes. Okay, first question. Yes. <laughs> first question is, you know, what makes you know, an admin or an awesome admin such a great career, a great job? Well, first of all, because anyone can do it. So at PyTab, positively impacting teens and parents, we Wait, have- Wait, say that again. Positive? Say positively? Lower. I'm slow. P-I-T-A-P. I got that part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Positively impacting teens and parents. And the reason- I love that. And the reason why that name came about yeah. um, is because of John DeRocher over there. I call, I call him John DeRocher. <laughs> He's a Boston Frenchman. He, yes, and he's the co-founder of PyTab. He is? He is. No one told me that. John, that's amazing. Oh. John, that's incredible. Let's hear it for John yeah. DeRocher. Wow. <laughs> wow. That, see, I, I don't normally get surprises on stage, but you just surprised me, oh. Karen. Ooh, I hope it was Thank a good you. surprise. It was a wonderful <laughs> surprise. Yeah, please. Um, is that it? No, let me tell you. Oh, Parker, oh. let me you tell you about PyTap. <laughs> yeah. At PyTap, what we do is we teach mothers and their teenage children Salesforce wow. and entrepreneurship. Wow. Now, we do this over a period of 10 months yeah. so that they're not only learning to become awesome admins yeah. and passing their certification tests, yeah. but what they're also doing is they're getting those soft skills. Because you know, hard skills will get you a job, but the soft skills are the ones that will keep the job. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. And, and we also offer a two month long internship under the guidance wow. of a certified admin. Wow. Wow. Yes. So, um, did you see the Obama keynote today? I was so lucky, yes, I was okay, there. Okay, so you know what you are? You're one of those leaders that creates new leaders. Thank you. Yeah, you heard that, right? Thank you. Yeah, you're amazing. Okay, all right, now, now more of a softball question. Amazing demonstration, amazing demonstration. What was your favorite feature? What was your favorite thing there? Anything? Oh, in terms of the demo? In terms of all the demos. Oh my yeah. gosh, you know something? Being able to track who's in your org and who's using Love it that. and who's not Love using that. it. Absolutely. Okay. All right, and, and then, you know, it takes a village. Can, what would you ask all of these people, and, and by the way, I think, and people online, what would you ask them to help you? How can they help you with PyTap? How can they help you and John do more? Well, the first thing that you can do is go and visit our website, yeah. which is pi dash tap.com and we're there in Boston and what we are seeking right now are really three things 
First of all, we're seeking an army of volunteers. Okay, anybody gonna volunteer? <laughs> yep. We're gonna, we're gonna find them. Thank you. And the volunteers are gonna come in and they're gonna help uh, teach the badges. Yeah. The second thing that we're seeking is, of course, financial support. And so if you go to our website, you'll, there is a donation button. Thank mm -hmm. you in advance for any donation. I'm donating right, out, right after this, uh, this keynote. Wonderful. And then Hopefully the, other people will follow me. Yes, please. And then the third thing that we're seeking, Parker, is we are seeking for uh, that next partner. And Why are you looking at me like that? And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you like that because, Parker, I really would, I'm inviting you out to Boston oh. to come visit PyTap. I'm going to come visit you. Absolutely. Yeah. And we need to partner not just in Boston, yeah. but thanks to um, Olivet Nazarene University, we're not only going to be able to offer those internships, but they're going to be paid internships. Oh, wonderful. And our participants are going to earn three college credits. Wow. Wow. All right. OK, so one last thing. This is the last thing. You know, I love to do this, but um, we want to award you the next golden hoodie. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah! So, we have it right here. Josie's got it. Thank you. Here, put it on. Here, give, give, me the, give me this. This is our next golden hoodie winner. Hashtag life with Goldie. Let's hear it for Karen. All right. Thank you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We're going to do this. Josie, don't go anywhere. We got it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I do this, too? All right. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Karen. All right. Now I got to get my clicker out. So what, what an incredible story. And just, you know, keep going. Let's, let's make sure we do everything we can do to help PyTap and help Karen. OK. So oh, yeah, I got to put these back on. So if you like these sunglasses, you think they're cool, you think they're sustainable, following with the SDGs of sustainability, well, we have a surprise for you. There are five golden tickets in the room worth $299 for Costa sunglasses. Let's look under your chairs. Anyone, anyone got them? I got mine right here. Any, any winners? Come on, shout it out if you're a winner. We got one here, all right. Okay, and for those of you who are not winners, Steve said it's just fine if you go online and you buy them, uh, buy Costa some sunglasses. Uh, you heard three incredible stories today, champion productivity with Serena, deliver innovation with Steve, and drive success with Kareen. That was just incredible. Uh, also, if it was too fast, like it was for me, to follow, we have a trail mix. Actually, I have a trail mix. It's called... Parker's trail mix, so please go take my trail mix. I'm gonna go take it right after the show. I'm gonna go home, sit on my couch and do it. First time home tonight, this week. And with that, I wanna thank all of you for being here at Dreamforce. Thank you for being at the admin keynote, and have a good night. Take care. <laughs>